October 28, 2008. Match day 9 of the 2008 2009 season. Claudio Ranieri was Juventus's coach. This was a must win game for Juventus as they were fighting Inter in the title race. Juventus needed someone to step up in this game, and Pavel Nedved answered that call. Nedved was 36 years old at this point, yet he was still a key player for this team. He had always been a hard-working player, and this was no different. Look at how he's constantly pressuring the opponent. In this game, Nedved was playing his usual left-sided midfielder position. Although you can see that he was given license to roam and help with link-up play wherever it was needed. And that's a great pass from Thiago on the left side, where Nedved would cut inside and smash it into the net. What a goal! What a goal by Nedved. You can see from the celebrations how important this goal was. Nedved was hard to defend against because he could use either foot, which meant he could take on his player and cross with his left, or cut in and shoot with his right, just as he did for this goal. Not to mention that he had a very powerful shot. He would definitely celebrate this goal, but let's see what happens next. The Czech was an efficient player, keeping it simple when needed and easily distributing the ball across the field. Here again you can see how difficult it is to know where he's going. But unfortunately this cross was not his best. But this man was extremely tenacious and you just knew that he would keep on trying. Pay attention to his wide range of passing techniques. Here he uses an outside of the foot pass with his right foot and then in the next play he'll effortlessly give a chipped pass with his left foot to the striker. Whenever he received the ball in the final third, you always felt like he was about to create some danger. When I was making this video, I was surprised to learn that he was 36 years old at the time because of how energetic he seemed to be. But as the captain on this day, he was definitely leading by example. Can you imagine how hard it would be to defend against this guy on the wing? If your job is to stop a cross, you'll have a difficult night ahead of you. It's not just his dribbling ability or his use of both feet. Look how he's strong enough to hold off his opponent too. There's a reason they would call him the Czech Fury or the Czech Cannon. And then, in the 56th minute of the game, Nedved is rewarded for his industry and hard work with a free goal. What I found interesting here is that he doesn't want to take credit for that attempted cross, really. Even though this is a rare sight, usually when I see something like this, the player will take credit and celebrate as if they totally meant it. But here Nedved was being very humble about it. And to be fair, the goalie completely misjudged the ball there, but Juventus would not complain about that. Now with a 2-0 lead, Nedved would still continue to create attacks, using his long-range passing, his defensive awareness, and his creativity. It really seemed like all the danger was coming from him. And to be honest with you, after watching this game, Juventus seemed really lackluster and the players were not having their best day. And if you've played football before, you'll know that this is one of the toughest situations to be in. When everyone is having an off day, 
and you know that you have to step it up and do everything yourself. Bologna had scored a late goal to make it 2-1 and as you can see Ranieri was stressing seconds before the final whistle. And that's full time. Nedved at 36 years old got his team the win. It was a tight title race at this point with Inter Milan so this victory meant the world to the team as you can see. Arguably Nedved's best trait was his consistency and on a slow night like this when most of the team did not play well is when you need your key players to step up and Pavel Nedved did exactly that. <laughs>